Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Aviation Jack video. I hope you're doing really well. Today you join me at Newcastle Airport, um, the Orbex Newcastle Airport to be precise. Uh, this is one coming on Orbex store which is 30% off. Um, you can pick it up today with the link in the description below if you are interested in it. It's very beautiful scenery. I've never actually flown out of here before so it's going to be interesting to do some Newcastle ops. Um, so today I decided to do uh, Ryanair 737, which I haven't flown Ryanair in absolutely ages. Um, and I thought we'd take it to Dublin because, well, Ryanair and Dublin go very well together. So we're going to do yeah Newcastle to Dublin and back and check out this Newcastle scenery. Um, see how much we can enjoy it while flying in and out of it. Um, hopefully two smooth landings, it should be good. Let's get into Valencia and have a look at the flight plan. Okay, so here we are in Valencia. This is our flight today. We are Echo India Delta Whiskey Delta Boeing 737-800 from Newcastle to Dublin. Uh, we're parked here on one of these stands, these little remote stands, to be precise, 1-4, I think that says. Um, we are departing today from runway 2 no, 07, I remember 07 today. Um, and we're going to be flying out of Newcastle over to Dublin with this route. Some ATC on, which is very nice. Uh, nothing major though, just uh, London. Yeah, London control. Uh, nothing over at Dublin. Uh, have a look at our flight plan today. Flight time is 49 minutes, really quick. Uh, 27,000 feet is our cruise altitude and cost index will be 20. Uh, departed runway 07 on the Girl 1 Tango and arrive in Dublin in the Bagso 2 Kilo. Uh, so that's our flight, let's get straight into the sim and get the plane switched on. Great, so here we are in the flight deck of the 737. Let's go straight to the overhead panel and get things loaded. Uh, we'll go to FS Actions, Ground Services, request the ground power unit. And we'll get everything loaded, hopefully it pops up. There we go, so ground power is on, external power is also on. And let's get everything else, like the IRSs as well. Uh, window heats can also be switched on. 27,000 feet here on the panel. Uh, perfect. And that's everything down and up there, sorry. 2,000 on the squawk as default. Let's switch that to TA now. And we'll go on to Unicorn, which is 122.8. Uh, so Echo, Golf, November Tango. And then destination Echo India Delta Whiskey. I was one step ahead of myself. Um, great. So, runway today, departing runway 07. Pop that in there. And we'll just get our fuel uh, thing loaded quickly. Let's have a look how much we're taking today. Uh, so, according to our flight plan, we are taking a total of 5453 kilos. Pop that in there. And then we can't do a flight plan request because we haven't got any flight plan to do. So um, we're going to have to do it all manually again today. Before we do that, we'll just press set payload and set it randomly. There we are. So uh, let me fill in this uh, route and then I'll get back to you. Perfect, that is the flight plan done, so execute that. Uh, Perf, go reserves, one, cost index was 20, cruising flight level 270, and then click the N1 limit. It's fine, we'll do flaps five on takeoff, and there's our trim. Perfect, so 148 is what we need to set here. 148, flight director left and flight director right. And we'll set our altitude all the way up to 270 straight away. 270. Oh, I don't think I've done that yet, have I? No. So departure on the Girl 1 Tango. There we are. Uh, so now we can probably set this. Yep, 270 and LNAV. Um, and then we'll set this to 070. 070. Seven zero, perfect. One for eight is set as well. Uh, let's get that APU going. We'll also shut the doors now. Boarding is already completed. Switch on all of our fuel pumps. Uh, 
And we'll get departure. Prepare for pushback and departure. Set our Q&H, one data and traffic on here. Perfect. TA, good, good, good. Looking good. Right, so we'll get that pushback clearance requested straight away. Well, GSX do that. Let's have a look at the scenery around here. Oh, this little mini roundabout. There's a lot of ground service equipment here, which is cool. Makes it look busy. Let's have a look. So we're departing from this runway over here today, runway 07. Uh, like I said, everyone, you can pick this up on the Orbex store or use the link in the description below. It's the first line. And it'll take you directly to the product. Um... It is 30% off and it's one of Orbex's best performing sceneries, so it's definitely definitely one to purchase, definitely one to buy. So far I'm loving it. And also you can find the 777 out of here, um, the Emirates 777, I think they do Dubai from here which is cool. Right, we've still got our wheel chocks on. Nose right. Right, parking brakes release. Ignore that awful sound. You just said release them, didn't you? There we are. Right, let's start the engines then. So, APB needs to come on. And we'll set it to ground. Wait for 25. Perfect. Parking brake set, and engine one is also on the rise now. And there's 25. Right, so both engines have started. Let's go continuous on both. Gen 1, Gen 2, APU off. Auto, auto, APU bleed off. Electric 1, electric 2. Taxi and runway turn off. That should have been on. Oopsie doopsie. And I would also set flaps 5. Cool. And full left, full right. Full up, full down. Forward left and forward right. Let's release the parking brakes and get a bit of thrust. And it's a nice short taxi out of here. Out of Newcastle. Look how tall these jetways are. Damn. Looking forward to landing to here on the way back. Should be a really nice landing. Perfect. Take a right turn. 
start to see a bit more of the airport around here. Great, so we can enter the runway straight away. Uh, Newcastle traffic right now, 34 Juliet Kilo, taking off runway at 07. So go to CARA, and we'll go weather. And we'll pop on those landing lights, and also the strobes, and we're good to go. So we'll just make sure we're turning a bit more to the left, and we'll start the clock. Arm the auto throttle and let's go to Dublin, so 50%. And Toga. Eighty knots checked. Rotate. And positive climb rate, gear can go up. We won't do a lot of manual flying right now because I just want to see a bit of the airport, so let's have a look. Bye bye, Newcastle. And there is also custom ortho scenery here as well. Which is nice. The ground does look very nice here. Yeah. Right, let's go back into the flight deck. And we'll go flaps up. And all these lights can come off as well. Ooh. Perfect. And it's a right turn out of here, so we're going to see Newcastle again. I'm just excited to do this flight because I never actually departed like out of Newcastle. Or well, this move this far north of England, I haven't either. And there's a sea in front of us. There it is. Right, standard on both sides has been good. Okay, everyone, so I will leave it there. I'll see you all closer to Dublin. It's not a very long flight at all, so it will not take long to get there. I um, hope you enjoyed the flight so far, and I will see you all closer to Top of Descent. See you in a bit.
Hello everyone, welcome back to the flight deck. So we're going to start planning the arrival now into Dublin. So let's head down to the uh, FMC and get things loaded. So we are going to be on the... Oh god, I can't remember. Hang on, let's have a look. It is the Bagso 2 Kilo Runway 34. So let's do the... Um, is there no ILS for the 34? No, so we'll do ILS 28 left uh, on the bags 2 kilo, which there isn't, so we'll do bags 4 Lima. Perfect. Um, and we're going to pop that in there. Uh, 10,000 we'll do. And yeah, that's everything. So yeah, I mean, it's a very nice day outside today compared to the south of England. Everything is very pretty out here, so yeah, and we've got a nice tower wind, I think. Yeah, 55 knots. But anyway, I'll see you all closer to top of the scent. See you in a bit. Hello everyone, welcome back to the flight deck. So we're just passing 5,000 nearly. So we're going to put on, oh, wrong one. Going to put on the approach here and also pop on those lander lights as well. We have flaps 10 set currently. No, we don't. We have flaps 2 set. Did a way I was trying to, <laughs> did a way I was trying to get out with that. Um, and we're going obviously to 28 left. Uh, speed is currently at 190 knots. I have the altitude set to 3,000 feet, and we'll set flaps 5 now as well. And if we just take the speed, we'll leave it about 185, then it's going slower than that right now. The decel point is very near, however. It's been a very quick flight. We've been in the air for 40 minutes so far. So yeah, extremely quick, just how we like it. Just going to slow descend and we'll set the Q&H to 1022. Auto break uh, 2 for arrival today. Seems good to me. Currently 14 miles out. really is a lovely clear day into Dublin, which is nice. Right, we seem to be turning on the glide slope there as the runway in front of us. We'll go about 180 knots, not much difference in it. Uh, we'll set flaps 10. Got a lovely 20 knot crosswind, just what you want. We've captured the glide slope, so there we are. We're descending on it now. Good. And we're, what's that, eight miles out? Eight miles out, so we'll go about 160 knots now. Everything looks good up there. We'll go flaps 15 and gear down. And we'll go fun landing speed, which is 145. And we'll go flaps full. And we'll start taking over in a sec. I don't feel lines up with this runway whatsoever, but I think that's just because... Um, 
with a crosswind, to be honest. Right, well, arm spoilers. That's a new noise. Oops. I don't know what that is, but it's really jarring. There we go. Okay, all's quite disconnected, I see, so I have control. Crosswind's staying quite stable. I'd rather it stay that way than constantly changing around. Take out the auto thrust and we'll do that one manually. Versus, I think I over that bit. Too much rudder on that one. There we go, manual braking. Reverse the stowed. We'll take this right turn here. Bring up those flaps and the spoilers. And we'll vacate to the right. Landed lights can come off. Runway turn off lights off. And we'll start that APU up. Okay, so we're just nearly parked up at the gate now. We'll choose one of the one two stands over here. I thought Rhino always park here, so we'll go to one of these. Um, what one? We'll do this one here actually. This one is good. So, taxi lights off. Did I not saw the clock? No, I didn't. Right, one, two, five is our stand. So, we'll do parking. And we'll set one, two, five. One, two, five. No. Uh, right now. Just in time. And stop it there. Parking brakes set. Engine 1, engine 2 cut off. Anti collision light off. Uh, APB can come on. These can do that. Bish bash bosh. Bish bash. There we go. Perfect. Well, there we have it, one. Welcome to Dublin. Let's request de boarding. There we are. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this sector of the video. We are going to do the return back to Orbex Newcastle to check it out, what it's like to land there and have another good look around at it. If you haven't seen my video already, have a look at the key features of Orbex Newcastle. Um, I'll link in the description below um, so you can watch that. And I'll see you all in the next one. If you want to get Orbex Newcastle, you can use the link in my description as well. Um, and yeah, see you all very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.